as you well know, I have talked about nutrition on some level on this channel and the importance of eating the right things for a healthy body. So this one is no different. Let me say this. I don't want to give you all of the answers to everything and I don't know the answer to all of everything. But what I can do is give you a foundation. And what I mean by that is this. There are some basics that I have shared with you and that I am sharing with you. You need to do some due diligence and some work on your own. I've come to find out the more you keep giving people information and pumping and pumping information into their heads, the less that they do. That's true. From my experience, in most instances. So, here's where you find that the person who is the receiver of the information is serious about the information. Is them taking action themselves or you taking action yourselves. So are you willing to take action and are you going to? Willing is not enough, you must do. Remember, remember that. So now, I want to tell you this and I'm not going to be before you. This is a very short video. This is just another video to get you to think. But you do the rest. So now, as it relates to food in your body. Your body is intelligent. Not just your mind, your brain. But your body is intelligent. So, it has to be to go through all of the hundreds of thousands of processes that it goes through. As far as digestion is concerned, mainly what we're talking about in a assimilation, uh, metabolism, and the expenditure of energy, rebuilding and breaking down cells, and so forth. Just keeping us healthy, keeping us strong, your body is intelligent. It doesn't do that by itself. Understand this. When you eat something or ingest something your body knows what it is and what it is not you recall the old commercial is it live or is it memorex just to use that as an analogy is what you're putting in your body the real thing or is it something that's less than the real thing is it fake is it tainted is it corrupted Understand this. Your body needs food to sustain it. For energy, for all of the different processes and so forth as I pointed out briefly. It needs food. Now when you say processed food, note the word processed. It's not real food. It may contain some components of real food, but it's not whole food. Anytime you process something, it's not the original article at all. So, your body knows the difference. What we never think about is this. Once we eat processed foods, if we have no negative reaction to it immediately, we don't think anything is wrong with it. But where does cancer come from? The disease cancer. Where does high blood pressure come from? Where does Crohn's disease come from? What does IBS come from? Where do other diseases and conditions come from? Most of them come from our lifestyle. It does. Most of the things that we experience in terms of what we have labeled as disease, which means your body is not at ease. This disease means not at ease. Most of the things that we have encountered in terms of those diseases and those cancers are caused by our own lifestyle. We just may not want to admit it, but it's true. There are some things that we don't have control of that's outside of us in the atmosphere, in the water that we drink that we don't have any control over, municipal water if you will, and various chemicals that we use in our environment. They can contribute to cancers of various sorts. But what about what we do to us, to ourselves? 
Now getting back to what I was saying about the body is intelligence. It's, it's all intelligent. So when you eat food, your body welcomes it. It begins to metabolize that food after digestion, okay? It begins to assimilate, utilize all of the necessary ingredients that's in those foods for maintenance of this thing we call life on the physical plane, right? Now, when you put things in your body that your body knows is not that real food, inflammation comes. Here comes the white blood cells. Here comes the repairs of the breach, so to speak. You don't see this with your physical eye, but it's going on within. They're trying to fight off these foreign invaders, as it were. Don't think that you can eat any and everything that you want to in the American diet or any other diet and be at a optimal level of health. It's not going to happen. With all of the artificial ingredients that they put in our foods these days that are packaged foods, that is. How in the world do you think you're going to be healthy? Or as healthy as you can possibly be. So it requires something of you and I. And that is to read ingredients. And if it doesn't look like anything that you recognize, be cautious. Do some research. Find out what those ingredients are and what or any particular side effects or conditions that it could potentially cause in your body. You need to do that. You owe that to yourself and to your families. Yes, you do. The problem is most of us don't read ingredients. Most of us don't question the ingredients in restaurant food when you go and sit down in the restaurant. Don't do that. I'd venture to say it's well up there. 99% of the people that go to restaurants never ask the chef, never ask the cooks, what's in that soup? What's in that chili? What's in that sauce? You don't ask. You're not into taking the time of your day to do that. You just say, well, it tastes good. In the, in, in the situation right there, I'm done. All I need to know is that it tastes good. I'll deal with the rest of it later and the ramifications of that later on when that comes. We'll deal with those issues later. But right now, it tastes good. That's how most of us behave when we go out to eat. So now, again, your body is intelligent. It recognizes real food and it recognizes what we the, in the food industry, and I'm not in the food industry, but people in the food industry say it's food. It recognizes that as well, and it responds accordingly. Real food, it takes it and utilizes it the way it was intended to be used by nature. That contaminated food, as it were, it fights or wars against it. Sometimes it's overwhelmed because we put so much of that garbage in our bodies in this temple that is too much for the body to fight off. So we end up with, guess what? Disease and cancer. Next thing you know, we're heading towards the hospital, to our doctor, to emergency room, getting surgery maybe, or even dying at some point. Know yourself, study yourself, and moreover, study the world that you live in and understand, comprehend how it operates. That was it. That's all I had to say. Other than this, before I conclude, are you studying the things that you put in your body? Do you know what you're putting in your body? And is it food? Or is it foreign? But believe this, your body knows. I'm out.